Reaction continues to pour into last night's presidential debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. Throughout the course of this election, we'll be bringing you glimpses of the race from key Northeast Ohio counties. So with that in mind, News 5's John Kosick has reaction tonight from Lake County. In presidential elections, Lake County has at times been a bellwether for the rest of the state and by extension, the country as a whole. And while the vote here has shifted Republican in recent election cycles, it still is a county where voters like Jerry and Connie have shown an ability to split their vote. I've always been an independent. Okay, and I voted both Democrat and Republican. And he approached Tuesday's presidential debate with the same attitude, even watching the wide spectrum of cable analysis after to see what they were saying. I looked at MSNBC at what they said. They said Kamala Harris was right. They made Donald Trump look bad. I went over to Fox. It was just the opposite. <laughs> after watching the debate, though, he says he needs no outside opinion makers to help shape his own in this election. Right now, I think Trump is the biggest obstacle to our democracy since the Civil War. Susan, on the other hand, in the beginning, I was a never Trumper, is now solidly in the former president's corner, an opinion only reinforced by what she saw in the debate. What I saw her doing was gaslighting President Trump, taking credit for all the things he stands for and putting the blame on him for all the things that they've been doing wrong. Mitchell says he's likely to vote for Trump, but... I mean, I might change my mind. Uh, just depends. I mean, I feel like Trump wants to be a dictator, but that's basically my opinion, you know. But you'll vote for him? Yeah, I'll vote for him. Ron, though, is like many voters, unlikely swayed by a single performance in this debate or any. Was there anything that would help you make up your mind or change your mind? No. No, it wasn't any... To me, it wasn't any mind-changing statement by anybody. I've already got my mind made up. Party leaders on both sides here in Lake County argue the side-by-side -side made their job easier. Her performance last night versus uh, former President Trump's uh, certainly, uh, I think, put a little more wind in the, uh, uh, the sails of, of the Democratic side. You can see the track record of Donald Trump when he was here and when he was president, and you can see the bad track record of Biden-Harris. In Lake County, John Kasich, News 5.